I was digging through my closet one day and discovered my old PS2 lying there. The cords and everything were already plugged in, so I took it to my shelf and plugged the system in. It worked fine. I thought I had lost my PS2, so I sold all of my games for it, including Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Knowing it worked, I went straight to eBay and searched up San Andreas, and I found one new for only $4.99 with free shipping. Thinking it was too good to be true, I bought it anyway. About three days later, it came in the mail in a weird looking box. I opened up the box and all that was laying there was a disc. No game case or label or manual or anything. Just GTA SA in black marker. Odd, I thought to myself. I shrugged and put the game in my PS2. Right off the start, I knew something was wrong. The menu screen was blood red, and all it said was "sad" in white text. No pictures or anything. The game began to load to the cutscene where CJ is at the airport. All normal there until it gets a Ganton, where the balls start shooting through the window. The game cuts to CJ's mum was getting shot at. All the organs fell out and she was screaming in pain. Until the final shot blew her head off completely. When Sweet runs there, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't scream mama like he usually does. When he discovers her dead body, the game went black and a blood-curdling female scream was heard. When CJ receives the phone call, instead of Sweet informing him of their mother's death, a bunch of loud breathing and distorted crying is heard. I wanted to shut off the game, but I was interested. The game started me off at Mount Chiliad in the shack, instead of the alleyway with the BMX. I walked through the shack trying to get out, but Everything was sealed tight. The game then turned black and showed a picture of CJ's dead mum for a split second. That spawned me in the alley with the BMX. Something isn't right though. The sky was blood red. There were no heads of cars. And eerie piano music was playing in reverse. Graffiti was appearing on the walls saying families for life. Body bags were lying on the sidewalk, screams could be heard, and CJ's face was all distorted and had glowing eyes. I was fucking scared as shit at this point. I walked around town looking for somebody. Nothing. Just just an empty town. I began to hear an engine from a vehicle. It was getting louder with each second. I turned around and there was nothing. The sound grew louder and louder until CJ fell to the ground dead as if he got ran over. The, the game cuts to black and says, Help. In bloody red letters. When CJ respawned, everything was black. Sidewalks, walls, buildings, everything. All you could see is CJ and the outlines of everything. The music was getting louder, and voices of the pets could be you heard. Be my bodyguard once I make it the big. screen began flashing, and CJ became pixelated, and more engine sounds were coming through. The piano was getting louder, and the motors were louder than ever. This was straight from a horror film. The screen turned black and a flashing image of CJ's mum's ghost appeared, with CJ screaming. Ah! The game cut back to CJ at the Panopticon. This is where I began feeling unsettled. It was stormy. The sky was red. And the clock had frozen at 6, 6, 6. There was a rusty wheelchair on the grass. 
and I could hear faint chainsaw sounds in the background. At this point, I'm confused and terrified. Every time I tried to leave, CJ would die. I couldn't go anywhere. Frustrated, I turned off the game and went to sleep. I had a strange dream about that wheelchair. It started to wheel its way over to me very, very slowly. I could see a faint figure on the chair, as if it were a victim of the mysterious chainsaw sounds. The person had long hair and was in a bloody hospital gown. The person only had three teeth and no legs. When the wheelchair bumped into me, I made a very loud scream. And everything went black, and the help text appeared in the same exact form as it did when CJ died. This could be telling me something that I need to find out in the game. So I turned on the PS2 and began playing. I wish I hadn't. The game cut off to CJ in a dark, haunted asylum. Just sitting there, unable to move. He begins crying about the loss of his mother. His crying is distorted. It doesn't even sound like CJ. A picture of his mother's body flashes on the screen in three seconds. It disappears. CJ then gets up and he's playable. I started to walk through the asylum. Every door was shut, except one. Stupid as I am, I went through it. I wish I didn't do that. The game cuts off to a disturbing cutscene of CJ's mum's body, getting devoured by the faint figure I saw in my dream. I screamed and tried to turn the TV off, but it wouldn't turn off. The figure looked at CJ and started to roll in the wheelchair to him. The screen cut to black and CJ began to scream. Bloody red text appeared saying, I told you to help. And the credit screen rolled up. Before I took the game out I noticed something on the credit screen that shocked the hell out of me. In tiny text. It said, I had fun playing with you. I took the game out and smashed it with a hammer. I hope I never have to experience something like that ever again. <laughs>